Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Poundland haul. I haven't done one of these in quite some time actually. I think I've done two in my channel and I really enjoyed them and I went into Poundland not thinking I was going to film anything but just getting some bits that I needed and I found so many good things. So I'm sitting down and I'm going to film it. I've got my bag over here. It's a reusable bag because we're not using single-use plastic anymore. And I'm just gonna pick things out and show you as we go. So the first thing is this uh, like garden toy. I went with my son and he was crying and I bought him these and he really enjoyed them. And there was three. So now my daughter has one and he has one and got a spare because they'll get lost next thing that i bought was a tennis racket i just bought lily and i some tennis rackets and her one uh it was six or seven years i think and she's five so it's quite large for her and i saw this one and it was a pound and it's a lot smaller than my one i don't like this um it's like fabric and I know it's gonna get dirty and it's gonna come off. So what I'm gonna do is just um, tape it with some duct tape uh, and then it'll just be a normal racket. I just thought that was awesome. I think I paid like 20 pounds or more. No, I think they were on sale. The one that I bought for Lily was on sale was 20 pounds and she loves it. We have some tennis courts near our house and i thought it'd be great to just do it during the summer and the holidays the next thing that i've got are these glasses these are so cute i've bought these before but the slimmer and tall ones and i broke one i think i've got four so now i have three of the other ones but these are just a little bit wider and just really cute. I think these are great for when you have people over. I actually had my cousin and I bought her a mug for anthropology from anthropology. And then she asked me for some water and I gave her some water in one of these. And she was like, wow, these are so cute. Are they from anthropology? And I was like, no, they're from Poundland. They're glass. They are, are they are glass? I think they're glass. I mean, mine broke pretty glass like so I'm gonna say yes the next thing that I got were these brackets these are just paddle set the paddle set I think these will be really good in to the park just to go to the park when you have little picnics with your kids these are awesome I love the watermelon and they're printed on both sides there's two rackets one um ball and even like for holidays for the beach for the park for the garden they are just really great they're really fun and they were very inexpensive the next thing is this um tray don't know why that took me so long it's this tray this polka dot tray as you can see I am digging the black and white polka dots at the minute. So I can put my breakfast on here. I can put things. I just think it'll be cute. I like it. I'm so excited to use that. Even for like backgrounds of things. Next, I got some Dettol wipes. Every time I go to Poundland, I get these. They normally do the ones that are half, half. They're like the really skinny pack for a pound and they had these for two pounds which I think I ripped myself off because they have the really big pack like it's like this thick in Sainsbury's and I think that's two pound fifty so I probably should have thought that better but that was two pounds then I found a really good little gem um, my son is now at an age where he likes to feed himself but if I give him a pack of raisins or anything, he just pours it and then tries to get anything that's left over. So I bought this so that he can just pick at it. Because it's got like a rubber thing, it's really easy to get your hand in there. But then things can't fall out as easily. 
I got him some of these pots. They used to do these in Poundland. It was a pack of two and they were the Tommy TP ones and they were navy and I've got those. And they are really, really handy. You can put anything in here. You can put snacks. I put, sometimes I put formula. If I'm going out somewhere, I always lose the formula carrier. So I can put it in here. I can freeze like meals for him if I make a soup and I make too much I can just freeze it and give it to him at a different date and it's just really handy these are amazing I love these um I got him some raisins well my daughter as well she likes these not as so much but these pepper pig raisins always go down the treat and they're a pound they sell them like I I bought them from Sainsbury's and stuff before not this specific racing pack uh, but some of them are just too big and he doesn't finish the really big packs whereas these it's just quite nice to I don't know the portion control is a lot better and I quite like it then I bought this slightly as a joke slightly serious it's the flora poundland version of the flora um not good but it does not smell as strong as the flora smells they didn't have any flora in there which i actually really needed and they had this so i thought i might give it a shot i i don't know um it might be really rubbish i will keep you updated i'm sure it's not going to be as good as the flora it's a um, really big pack it's probably the 250 ml this is 220 so yeah i guess it's the same size as the large one for a pound the large one's normally like two pounds two pound fifty um so i don't know i got lily one of these um bubble beads things she loves these and when bear was little i didn't really allow these in the house but i don't know i think she would love this i haven't given it to her yet but um she's really gonna like it i got some hand wash this is my favorite hand wash and you can get it anywhere but it's normally a pound 50 except in poundland it's a pound oh, this just smells so good this is the cucumber and green tree scent green tree green tea and it smells wonderful it's really fresh and gorgeous it doesn't leave your hands feeling dry i hate hand washes that make your hands dry i just can't stand it this is like a really moisturizing hand wash and i love it and i always keep it in the bathroom for the kids the next things are all uh frames picture frames and i'm trying to get a gallery wall up in my house somewhere i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it behind here or if i'm gonna do it in the dining table in the dining um not table but in the dining space and um i bought these two frames so i bought a white one and a black one these are 30 by 42 centimeters i have bought more in the past and you have to be careful because these come off so i don't know if you have to glue them together or maybe you can like sellotape them a little bit on the back because it can be really annoying and then i got this really cute photo frame it's is it broken no it's just squidgy um it's like this leaf print and it's really dark i love the color of it. it it almost looks black but it's not it's just really pretty i really like it and i think it would look really great with the other frames uh, i just got this plain white one this is like a slightly thicker frame than the other one and then I got this one, which is a slightly thicker frame. I bought this, which I'm actually not sure what it is. And there's instructions on how to use inside. Make hanging photo frames easy. This pack includes eight various sizes of paper picture frame templates to be used to plan the placement of your actual photo frames before hanging to ensure you end with the perfect gallery wall. I don't know. But I love this. This is so cute. What cute bed sheets. I'd love to find out where those are from and buy those. Um, so basically it's just rubbish that I wasted my money on. It's um, like P 
pieces of cardboard I presume and you can glue them on the wall before putting your real pictures I'm not sure and then there's one last frame which is this one there's two frames this is 10 by 15 centimeters so really tiny ones there was two for a pound and hopefully that completes my picture frame wall my gallery wall that is it thank you so much for watching I hope you have a lovely day and until my next video I'll see you guys soon bye